the game show. After an insanely interesting episode last week, we are now back to three people again, our age in our college again. So uh, yeah, like I said, they're uh, all new people. Like <laughs> you know, I never know where to go with this in the beginning. But uh, yeah, so whole new leaderboard again. We only have the one person on it from last week, Emily, who won. Emily Sheridan. I don't remember her score though, so that's just gonna appear right there when I edit it and look back. So we're gonna start with the person closest to me. You may introduce yourself. You could say your name, your hometown, your major, um, and then I'll ask you your fun fact about yourself. Okay, so you may good. Begin. yes. Hi, um, my name is Shay Klein. I am from Buffalo, New York, as you can see. Um, and my major is social work. All right, Shay, I understand that now you are a season ticket holder for yes. Bills games. Yes, sir. How did that, how did you get that? Um, well, back home, my boyfriend is very close to this one friend, Tom, and we were all talking about getting them together. <laughs> and, um, I mean, he loves Bills, we all love the Bills games, so why the hell not? You got the money, and yes. we like going to them, so I know this it Tom makes fella, sense. yeah, and yeah. he is also a huge Bills fan. <laughs> Probably the second most, uh, most um, Bill, what, what am I, I can't even talk today. Like a Bills fanatic. Yeah, probably the second biggest Bills fanatic that I've ever met. All right, now we can move on to the middle, Hi. and you may do introduce your name, your hometown, your major as well. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Hope Winter. I am from East Aurora, New York. I'm also a Bills fan. I'm not wearing my Bills gear today. I feel left out. But uh, I am a broadcast journalism student, and... I think that's I it. Think that's it. Yeah. yeah. Hope Winter, haven't we seen that name on the credits of the game show before? Oh yeah, I, I, I do some behind scenes here. It's yeah, fun. but of course, you know, she doesn't know any of the questions. No. She was removed from the I'm, group for the I'm, week. I'm not a cheater, I promise. Hope, why are you named Hope? <laughs> okay, so I technically have like four kidneys and when I was born, one of them doesn't work. So my dad was like, oh my gosh, I hope this baby is okay. I hope this baby is okay. And that's why I'm named Hope. So. Adorable. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, last but most certainly not least, you may introduce your name, your hometown, your major as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Syracuse. I am a senior journalism major. I'm from Fredonia. And I hope that I am the first Bill's fanatic in, in Ryan's mind. That's exactly what I was talking about, yeah. <laughs> Kevin Syracuse, if you uh, keep up with WMYF at all, the host of Sports Hour. Um, and Kevin, I understand that w at one point you've, ate, you've eaten 17 or 20 wings in 17 minutes. Yes, and I believe you were a witness of that as it was in your apartment. How do you scarf down wings that fast? What is, what's your method of your madness? Um, I don't know. I just start and don't finish till they're done. I think it's um, because you get mild. You, you got no heat. No, I got mediums. Things. I oh, got medium. Did? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cause I, I was just hungry. I was a full day of mowing lawns, and then they were just so good. Like, once you start, you can't finish. Like, if there were 40 there, I could, you know, maybe finish. Maybe 34 minutes. Yeah. That, I, that, I think my record's like 20-something, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself and say I could do 30 in, like, 24 minutes. But, yeah, you just got to have that, that winner's mentality, right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Absolutely. And go Bills, right? And go Bills. So, unfortunately, they're, they're out. Actually, as we're filming this, this is to, uh, the day of the Super Bowl. So we will all disperse and then see who wins the bowl later today. I'm rooting for the Chiefs today. I don't know about any of you else. But whoever wins today, before we get to that, um, will win a $25. They didn't have any gift cards, but they have a gift certificate. $25 gift certificate to Buddy Brewster's or Wing City, whatever you want to say, but because they're the same thing. But um, yeah, basically you're just gonna cash it in. It was, it was signed by the manager over there, so she's she's witness, and it has a to and from. So whoever wins, I will personally write to whoever from me. Everybody at the game show. All right, who is ready to begin? We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes you are. Is, is, um, I was like, is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> so we may go to the first board today. All right, guys, today's categories are controversial figures, Star Wars, complete the TV show intro, and Super Bowl Sunday in the name of this glorious day today. 
All right, Shay, you're the closest to me, so you will begin. You can point which uh, which category you want and how many points you want for it. Okay, since it's Super Bowl Sunday, I'm just gonna take it easy for now. So we're gonna go Super Bowl Sunday 10. Super Bowl Sunday for 10. Which of these teams have never been present in a Super Bowl? The Jacksonville Jaguars, the Dallas Cowboys, or the Seattle Seahawks? Now you can make, write your letter. Don't hold it up yet until you're all done. I'll ask you guys to hold it up and you can just show the camera. And I'll write it down as well. And I'll show at the same time. All right. What is the team? You may show. Yep. A, A, and A. Yes, it is A. Jacksonville Jaguars. Remember, they were close. They, they almost beat close. the Patriots a couple years ago. They were close. I, re I remember look, do, looking up this question. There were only like four teams that never made the Super Bowl. It was like the Jaguars, the Lions, the Texans, and the Browns. They never made it. So yeah, now you guys are all at 10 points. Great job so far. You guys got them all right. All right, Hope, what do you all want? Right. Um, let's do complete the TV show intro for 30. Complete the TV show intro for 30. Everything is not what it seems when you can have what you want by the simplest of means. Be careful not to mess with, is it the most wild of schemes, undeniable fiends, or the balance of things? Okay. Show it. C, A, and A. It is C, the balance of oh, things. Shit. Shay, do you know what show this is? No. Does any, do any of you guys know what the show <laughs> no. is? It just sounded like it was. This is Wizards of Waverly Place. <gasps> I grew up without Disney, that's why. You, uh, yeah, yeah, see, I didn't watch it either. Kevin, you weren't a big Disney guy, huh? Sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I got to rack up points on the Super Bowl Sunday category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl Sunday. For 20. For 20. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday, 420. According to most ticket selling services, the average cost of a ticket to this NFL championship game yearly is approximately what price? Is it 1000 to 2000 2000 to 3000 or 4000 to $5,000 per ticket? It's throwing me off a little bit because you should see what they're going for on StubHub this year. Mm -hmm. All right, what we got? B, B, and C. The average cost of the ticket is C, $4,000 to $5,000. Okay, ticket. fun fact, you know how much a ticket was for tonight's game? How much? Last time I checked, about eight grand. Holy Jeez. That's insane. That's like your life savings. Like, you know, they say, <laughs> yeah, one before I die, go see the Bills in the Super Bowl, take out your life savings and go do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I love this movie. So let's go Star Wars 20. Star Wars for 20. It'll be embarrassing. Portrayed by Harrison Ford, Han Solo was one of the most iconic Star Wars characters of all time along with his vessel, the Millennium Falcon. How did he acquire this iconic starship? He won in rock, paper, scissors, he won a card game, or he accurately solved a riddle. I tried watching it once and then like five minutes in, I was like, this isn't sports. There's no football being <laughs> thrown. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Star Wars, so this is this All right, is what is it? B, C, and B. He won a card game. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you got to the I'm a lucky you... guesser. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it benefits a lot in this, is because sometimes some of these are educated guesses. They weren't playing rock, paper, scissors, at least. None of you guys feel for that. Let's go for controversial figures for 20. Controversial figures for 20. This former football player is considered one of the best of all time. His personal life, though, consisted of being on trial for murder, which was televised to over 100 million people in 1995. Was that Aaron Hernandez, Michael Vick, or O.J. Simpson? Which, uh, which one was it? C, C, and C? Yes, it was C, O.J. Simpson. The juice, juice? is loose. <laughs> the juice is loose, currently. Currently still loose. All right, Kevin, you're up. All right, Super Bowl Sunday for 30. Super Bowl Sunday for 30. Which company, historically very active in commercial breaks during the Super Bowl, has decided not to advertise this year to focus more on spreading COVID-19 awareness? Is that Doritos, Toyota, or Budweiser? You got this one, Hope? I know this one. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't know if I know this. Because I heard about the commercials were different, but I didn't look into it yet. No, this is my favorite. 
B, C, and A. All different answers. It is, yes, C, oh. Budweiser. They're my favorite. Aren't those ones with the dogs? Wait, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't that the horse one? The, 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 what's, what's up, Kevin? Yeah, the horse one. The horse, actually, we had a game show uh, question a uh, couple couple episodes ago, which what type of horses they were in the Budweiser commercials. <laughs> Anybody know? Kaleidosdale. Clydesdale, yeah. It's Clydesdale, yeah. Clydesdale horses. Yeah. I didn't know they're different they're brands. Pretty. <laughs> or not brands, but like kids. <laughs> you know what I mean, breeds? like types. Breeds, yeah, breeds. That word, yeah. All right, you got the first two letters right. The rest were just not correct. <laughs> there are different brands of beer. Yeah. <laughs> and horses. Yeah, yeah, the Budweiser, right? <laughs> yes. Different breeds of beer, brands of horses. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're at Shay's at 80, Hope's at 60, Kevin's at 70. Shay, you are up. Okay. Uh, let's do complete the TV show intro for 40. Complete the TV show intro for 40. You woke up this morning, the world turned upside down, Lord above. Things ain't been the same since. The blues walked into town, the blues came around, or the blues forged a frown. See how I do? I write, I write all the letters so you can't tell which one I'm writing. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought I saw an A and a C in there. I do I do A, B, and C every time, but only one actually connects. I'm trying to hold read on, through your on. through That's your why I have now. my hand here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not a cheater like Tom Brady. Ooh. <laughs> well, we'll see if that statement stays true tonight. Alright. What is uh, the TV show intro? B, B, and C. Well, things haven't been the same since A, the blues walked into town. What is that from? Yeah, what's it from? This is from The Sopranos. I knew it. Let's go controversial figures for 30. Controversial figures for 30. As highly acclaimed as his films often are, Woody Allen has also been in the public eye over sexual abuse allegations. Which of these movies can you watch guilt-free knowing that it is not a Woody Allen film? Is that Margaret? Annie Hall or Midnight in Paris? I'm back to guessing. <laughs> Make an educated guess. That's right. All right, which one is not a Woody Allen film? A, A, and A. Well, you all guessed right. It's A, Margaret. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never seen any of those. Super Bowl Sunday for 40. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday for 40, and we will knock out the rest of that category. Which of these women became the first permanent female official in the NFL in 2015, and will make history again when she officiates Super Bowl 55 as the first woman to do so? Is that Jennifer King, Lori Locust, or Sarah Thomas? A, B, and C, all different answers. It is C, Sarah Thomas. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and that 40 doesn't go away for some reason, so you can all pretend that that 40 is done. That category is done, yes. So I can't call it in, on it again? No, no, unfortunately not. Okay. So yeah, now it is 110 to 90 to 140. Kevin has taken the lead. So, uh, hold on to it. Shay, <laughs> what would you like? Um, let's do complete the TV show intro for 20. Complete the TV show intro for 20. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But the sun in the sky has a smile on its face. But where are the good old fashioned values? But there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Which, uh, which, which intro line is it, is it? A, B, and C, all different answers. It is B. Where are those good old fashioned values? Shay, you don't watch Family Guy? No. Wow. No. I mean, you know. So sorry. More and more people I'm finding out don't. <laughs> But I've always been a voucher for Family Guy. Hope knows, though. Anyways. Yeah, I can think of an ex-boyfriend for that show. Oh. He was obsessed with it, so. All right, well, I'm go. sorry to bring back uh, no. bad memories. <laughs> 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 All right, hope you are up. Let's go controversial figures for 40. Please. Controversial figures for 40. Michael Jackson's entire life was shrouded in controversy from childhood to death. In 2019, HBO aired which documentary revolving around two men who alleged that they were sexually assaulted by him as children? Was that called Leaving Neverland, Paradise Lost, or This Is It? Which documentary was it? A, A, and C. It is A, Leaving Neverland. Uh, Shay at 150, Hope at 150, and Kevin at 140. We are all 
really close, and that was like what, what you call a nail biter. Hope you came back. I know, I, I made a comeback. <laughs> Or, don't want to yeah. get too cocky though. Yeah, yeah don't want to get too cocky. You could crash in very easily. Yeah. Controversial figures for 10. Controversial figures for 10, and we will finish that category. This young performer has had her fair share of controversies that range from seemingly countless Twitter feuds with the likes of Kanye, Eminem, Sia, and Elon Musk, to insulting entire nationalities of people from Ireland and Sweden, to being escorted off of airlines. Was that Zendaya, Azalea Banks, or Halsey? All right, which one is it? B, C, and C. It is B. Azalea oh Banks. Oh my god. I don't know who that is, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. I don't know who that is. I didn't know who it was either, but uh, <laughs> one of our writers, uh, Dean. Dean. Dean uh, was quick to quick to suggest that one. Controversial figures, Azalea Banks. Hmm. That's what he, he was like that. He did, he did who that. Who is that? Azalea Banks. What does she uh, do? <laughs> It's not that thing. It wasn't you know? part of the yeah. question. I'm not required to know it. So. Um, yeah, so now it's 160 to 150 to 140, all within 10 points of each other. Nice. Um, and then uh, Shay, back to you. Okay. Um, let's go Star Wars for 30. Star Wars for 30. Raised by Senator Bail Organa and Queen Brea Organa, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Princess Leia was the brother of Luke Skywalker as they unknowingly grew up together on what same planet? Was that Alderaan, Hoth, or Tatooine? The question is asking which planet did Princess Leia grow up on? Yes. They did not grow up on the same planet. So oh. your, your answer should be what planet she grew up on. Then I, mis then I misread that when I was wording it, yeah, okay. So Either it's, way. Did, it, did, that, did that change your answer <laughs> at all? Not. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. All right. No. <laughs> it didn't change my guess one yeah, way or another. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that, though. Just, just check it. We try to be thorough here. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's, it goes through the cracks a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate which one, it, but... Which one was it? A, B, and A. Well, two, you got it right based on that. So it's A. Let's go, Kevin. I thought that was from, like, Transformers. <laughs> Isn't it like Alderaan? Don't Autobots. Worry. Uh, yeah, aren't they on the planet <laughs> Alderaan? Come on, it's fine. I think the two A's gives it away that it's, it's like a space thing, or Maybe. like aliens. Yeah, I saw like the, the double A's and I was like, I'm gonna go for that. <laughs> yeah. But what about the two O's in the other one? No, I meant like choice A. They're all planets. Oh. Like choice A, the <laughs> word started with A, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. So the triple A's. The yeah. Three A's, yeah. Definitely staying away from Star Wars, but it's gonna catch up to me. So complete the TV show intro. Complete the TV show intro for 10. So no one told you that life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in second gear, but oh, you're the only oh. one who knows. <laughs> your mother warned you there'd be days like these. Alright, which one is it? A, A, and B. Yeah, it's A. Right, or Kevin. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. What is it? Friends. It's Friends. Trust me, I'm not on the Friends train either. Oh, I so. love Friends. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hope we got this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just get the pain out of the way, so 40. All right, Star Wars for 40. Although not a part of the Star Wars series, The Mandalorian is a series set in the Star Wars universe. What has recently been revealed to be the real name of the insanely popular Baby Yoda? Wait, why do I feel like I know this? Is that Quill, Bo-Katan, or Grogu? A, C, and C. This is C. Woo! Yes! Grogu. Yay! They're all names that I just like, Still I looked up like the Mandalorian, they all like came up at one point, so that's why they were, this was the other two. I think I saw it on Twitter. That's that's. Yeah, I, yeah I feel like I saw that too. Yeah. I was like, why do I feel like I've seen the, the word to 200 to Grogu. 210. Wow. And finally, we'll finish off Star Wars for 10. Introduced in The Phantom Menace 1999, who was the mentor of Obi-Wan Kenobi, who went on to become a Jedi Master? Uh, was it Jar Jar Binks, Qui-Gon Jinn, or Ben Kenobi? The master of, yes, mentor of Obi-Wan. A, A, and C. It was B. Qui Gon Jinn. Damn. Lisa, <laughs> 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 
Jar Jar Binks, wow. I thought that was... Wait, isn't uh, that the one that's in like the cave or something? That's the one that's like, yeah, he's like the he's like the 3D animated guys. I knew, I, he was the only name I knew, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, that is that is round one of season three, episode two of... The Game Show. We finish with Shay at 200. Hope tied with Shay, also at 200. And Kevin Syracuse in the lead. Never thought I'd say that. Uh, with, uh, hey, hey, hey. No, easy, kidding. easy. <laughs> All right, there's my motivation for the rest yeah. of the day. <laughs>if you're about to turn 18 you got to register with selective service it's simple just go down to the post office fill out a card and turn it in that's all there is to it there's no draft now you're just adding your name to selective services list in case there's a national emergency so if you're 18 now selective service you gotta get down register with selective service it's quick it's easy and it's the law takes no time just sign on the line What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. If it's time for a drink this many times a day, you're not a social drinker, you're a problem drinker. And you could be well on your way to really messing up your life. Think about it, talk to somebody about it, do something about it before it's too late. A message in the interest of your better health from the American Medical Association. This is not a commercial. If you think measles, mumps, whooping cough, or polio are nothing to worry about, you'd better think again. Because they could make your child go blind or deaf. They can cripple or kill. To protect children, you have to get them immunized. Get them their shots. It costs nothing or very little. So get it done now by your doctor or local health center. Your child's future is in your hands. Don't let her down. A message in the interest of better health from the American Medical Association. the game show round two you know the, the uh, speed true or false round and like i was just saying before i love this burn backdrop it, it brings some life into this whether that life is like sort of gloomy or mysterious whatever you want it just adds an extra layer to the show all right so uh, how are we all doing in terms of like adrenaline in terms of like charisma i mean i thought i'd do I thought I'd be doing a lot worse, so I'm kind of happy. That's good. How, are you, how do you guys think <laughs> um, you're doing? I thought I'd do a lot better, to be honest, but... Yeah, and then <laughs> leader over here, how, do you, how, how are you doing? A couple lucky guesses, so can't complain about that. Who's ready? We are! Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Every time We're you say that, quiet, I keep thinking... On. I keep thinking, like, who's ready? Like, I want to go first. Yeah. You, you want us to be like, you want, you're trying to like pump up the crowd. I see. Yes, yeah, pump up like, the crowd. Oh, there will be music in the background of all this, so it's not as, it's not as quiet. Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's do this. Yeah, exactly. All right. Ready? Let's go. True or false? Wait, 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 wait. No. Timer. <laughs> Eddie and okay. action. There are 21 dots in traditional six-sided die. Home. False. That is true. <laughs> Water should be used to extinguish grease fires. Hope. False. That is false. I'm not right. ready for this rapid thing. <laughs> there are more con contact wearers than glasses wearers. Uh, True. That is false. <laughs> the area code 773 serves Chicago. Hope. False. That is true. Wait, 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 wait. The Burj Khalifa okay, never mind. is the tallest building in the world. True. Yes, that is true. Right. Uh, area 51 is in Arizona. <laughs> Is my buzzer broke? <laughs> that is false. <laughs> Jackfruit is the largest fruit from the tree. Uh, that's you, Shay. Uh, false. That is true. <laughs> Orangutans are native to Madagascar. Hope. True. That's false. <laughs> Monopoly was released in the 1940s. 
Uh, Shane. True. That is false. Johnny Depp has never won Best Actor at the Oscars Hall. True, true. That is true, yeah. Right. The Phoenix Suns have never won an NBA championship, Kevin. True. Yes, that is true. Right. There are over 600 episodes of The Simpsons. False. That is true. <laughs> Pugsy Tony Phil saw a shadow this year, uh, Kevin. True. That is true, yeah. Right. St. Cecilia is the patron saint of the elderly, <laughs> Shay. True. That's false. <laughs> the Bodyguard is the top selling movie soundtrack of all time, Hope. True. That is true, and one more. Right. Propane is greenhouse gas. Uh, Shay. Uh, true. That's false. <laughs> Hope, you were leading the pack at first then. Wow, I was not I'm ready for that. I was like, are the other ones working? But, and I looked up, they were they were on, so I was like, I yeah. Was... All right, Nick, what do you got for us? Um, how many did Shay get? Shay got zero. Shay got zero. I love it. Hope got four. Four. Yeah. And Kevin got two. Two. Woo. So I will just do it here. Shay stays at 200. Hope goes up to 240. And Kevin goes up to 240. 30. Okay, not bad, not bad. See, awesome. I was confused because hers was green and mine wasn't lighting up, and I was like, it was trying to hit on. it. It I'm was like, still on, though. Like, I, I saw, fast. I was like, and then I'm just like, I, I'm just like, not fast to begin with, so I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I gotta move my hand faster. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I got it for the Phoenix Suns. Zero, huh, though? Hey. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I, no, I, I tried. That's all, that's all you can do. But um, like I said, it's not over yet because all the points are doubled in the third round. Oh, so man. this is where, the next round is where the score really changes. It's like, if you know your stuff, then you know your stuff. If you don't, then it's pretty evident. Uh, all right, but let's not forget that they are all playing for, not a gift card this week, not a gift card, but a Buddy Brewster's gift certificate. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> let's zoom on that. I want to get the... Uh, Let's get the manager's uh, signature on there. Yeah. <laughs> Want to make sure that's that's legitimate. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Twenty five dollars by uh, Emily. Uh, Emily Allbat. Allbat or something. But two. What are these three from? This guy right here. Yes. Cause I bought it. Dean, come on out. No. I didn't really mean it like that. I can't believe you'd rather go to Sam's Club than Big Lot. <sighs> well, I didn't think you'd take it that seriously. They're just apartment stores. Well, I did. So why don't you just go to Sam's Club and forget about it? I'm not going to do that, Dean. <sighs> I love you and I just want you to be happy. Why don't I treat you to your favorite restaurant to cheer you up? Which one of the many places that I've asserted are my favorite could she possibly be talking about? Oh, come on. Your all-time favorite? Well, it is 1.30 in the morning, so she must be talking about... Buddy Brewster's! Oh, yeah. My favorite. Thank you. I love you. Shall we? For old time's sake? I'd love to. No, not that! Oh, okay. If you wouldn't mind, Brian. There we go. Oh, Dean, where should we go to find the best craft brews and great atmosphere? I don't know. It's gotta be a place that warmly welcomes its patrons after dark. Where could we possibly find such a place? Oh, me? <laughs> Buddy Brewster's, of course. <laughs> So I rip off the trench coat, and it's two little men stacked on top of each other inside. <laughs> that story gets funnier every time you tell it. You really didn't have to do this, Em. 
Oh, I love your yawn. I'm so tired. It's really no trouble, Dean. I mean, a place that embraces the nightlife such as this, I had to go. Buddy Brewsters. Hey, you're my buddy. Why don't I buy you a Brewster? No, Dean. I said I was treating you. I stick to my promises. Definitely not when it comes to AA, though. Yeah, that's why I'm not uh, getting one myself. Uh, you know, you truly are the best person. Let's see. Wow, there's just so many options. So many options. There's just so many options. Hey, Dean, how about the uh, Buddy's Bowl? You know, from my buddy. I also said something else like weird yeah. earlier, and I don't remember what it was. I feel like Ryan Sarkoff is going to kick a game winning 37 yard field goal to win 31 28. Is that you? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay? Yeah. All right. He says 31 28. And uh, Nick, Nick over there, our, our uh, station Brady fan, because every, oh. every station has one of those. Uh, <laughs> I, was born, I lived in Massachusetts for a few years. I can't help it. <laughs> Ryan, is there a trash can over there so I can throw up back here? Yeah. <laughs> I you should throw him in. I, I was like, like, okay, like throw him right Oh, yeah. What, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I don't have COVID. <laughs> no mask. <laughs> and welcome back to round three of the game show. On this glorious Super Bowl Sunday. Um, but of course, when this airs, this will be way after the Super Bowl's done. It'll be finished with football season. And I will presume to stop talking about the Bills until September. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's 24-7, it's like, all 20. year round. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have former empires, hockey history, the reading 20s, and the Great Barrier Reef. More sports. All right, my guessing he was gonna have to step up real quick. <laughs> and then we will, uh, we will just score his guesses now. Uh, two, two hundred to two forty. We'll find two, out. Two thirty. <laughs> the reading twenties for forty. The reading twenties for forty. Literary movements and styles come and go throughout the decades. This one that existed during the twenties was influenced by the Great Migration went hand in hand with music and arts, and was promoted by greats such as Zora Neale Hurston and W.E.B. Dubois. Is it naturalism, postmodernism, the Harlem Renaissance, or Aulipo? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that was wrong. C, B, and C. It is C, the Harlem oh, Renaissance. Shit. Yes, it is, and that was for 40 points. I knew that. Oh, I got through seven. Yeah. I got a 30 point lead, look at that, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go hockey history for 20. Hockey history for 20. Which important tool, fundamental to making a successful hockey game possible, was invented in 1949 in Paramount, <laughs> California? Were that skate fenders, the Zamboni, arena shields, or hockey glass? C, B, oh. and B. It is B, the Ooh. Zamboni. Remember the flaming Zamboni? Yeah. <laughs> Chester, that's what made me think of. Yeah, um, Kevin, what, what's the difference between hockey glass and arena shields? I gotta be honest, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought, I thought they were the same thing, but the, they were two separate things when I looked them up, so. I don't, I don't know. know if, sorry, go ahead. What? No, you, you go. I was gonna say, fun fact, I drove the Zamboni here once, like as a little kid. Really? Now that was before, like, you know, I had my permit, license, and before I practiced driving, or like driving a lawnmower. But, <laughs> you know, before, like, I drove anything. But it was very hard, and I was doing donuts all over the ice. So I think even now with the license and, like, driving lawnmowers and stuff, I think it would still be a little bit hard because you slip around on the ice. Probably. So, <laughs> yeah, if you ever drive a Zamboni, just 
Be careful of, you. Uh, you know, doing donuts and hitting the boards and stuff. Shit, you're up. <laughs> okay, what would you never like? mind. What would you like? <laughs> All right, let's, let's try the Great Barrier Reef for 40. The Great Barrier Reef for 40. Which famous explorer is given credit to discovering the Great Barrier Reef in 1770 when a ship ran aground on it and was stuck there for an entire day? Was that Marco Polo, Amerigo Vespucci, Hernan Cortez, or James Cook? C, C, and A. Well, the explorer was actually D, James Cook. Yeah. Uh, let's go former empires for 40. Four empires for 40. After the split of Rome, the eastern half survived for a thousand years longer than the western half before it fell to the Ottomans. This eastern half of the former Russian Empire went by what other name? Was that the Achaemenid Empire, <laughs> the Turkish Empire, the Byzantine Empire, or the Kalmar Union? Oh, are you ready? Yeah. C, C, and C. Yes, it is C, the Byzantine Empire. Shout out to Dr. Arnold. Shout out to Dr. Arnold, wherever you may be. <laughs> I don't know who that person is. <laughs> He's a professor. Uh, yeah, I, I, I assumed. Yeah. All right, it is uh, 280 for Shay, 300 for Hope, and 330 for Kevin. And on that note, Kevin, you may pick one of which one you would like. Hockey history, 40. Hockey history for 40. Look at the cursor was already there. You guys knew where I was going. <laughs> a staple tourist destination for millions of hockey fans around the world. The Hockey Hall of Fame is located in which Canadian Thank city? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is that A, Montreal, B, Toronto, C, Vancouver, or D, Calgary? You just sounded like Mike Iger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which Canadian city has the Hockey Hall of Fame? We got B, B, and B. Yes, it is B, Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> That's 40 all around the board. Let's do former empires 60. Former empires for 60. When Rome became too large of an empire to manage, it was split in two, Western Rome and Eastern Rome. The Western half fell first in 395 AD. Who was the last emperor of Western Rome? Was that Romulus Augustulus, Diocletian, Charlemagne, or Marcus Aurelius? B, B, and A. Good job, Kevin. A, Romulus. You know, for not paying attention in class, I'm remembering some stuff. <laughs> so 60 points, that puts Kevin at 430. So now it is 320 to 340 to 430. Wait, how much was that one worth? That was 60, 60. points, that was a 60 point. 60? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is like triple jeopardy now. Oh, it's double, oh. yeah, double, double, <laughs> yes. And no you know way affiliated I mean. with, with, uh, that legendary game show. Um, Hope, you are up. Okay, um, let's go to the Reading 20s for 60. The Reading 20s for 60. In 1920, the book Ulysses was quote unquote banned. And for a time, uh, the Postal Service played a role in burning it on grounds of obscenity. Who wrote this taboo novel? Was it Virginia Woolf, James Joyce, Aldous Huxley, or William Faulkner? Okay, what, uh, oh. all right, what do, you, what do you two have? Oh, okay. B, D, and C, all different answers. It was B, uh, James Joyce. Gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, hockey history, 60. Yeah. <laughs> hockey history I was going to mess with you guys and say something else, but. Playing for the Pittsburgh get Pirates, points. Montreal Canadiens, and the New York Americans, which hockey player was the shortest to ever play in the NHL? Was that Bullet Joe Simpson, Tiny Thompson, John Ross Roach, or Roy Waters? All right, which, uh, which hockey player was the shortest? D, C, and D. Yes, it was D, Roy Waters. You guys didn't fall for the Tiny Thompson. But he was also, I think he was probably on the same team as him, but you know, there was someone more tinier, or tinier. More tiny, tiny. <laughs> not, tiny. not more tinier. Smaller. Yeah. Smaller. Shorter. Shorter. Yeah. Let's do the Great Barrier Reef for 60. The Great Barrier Reef for 60. Which invasive species is responsible for the most damage caused to the reef by a living organism? Other than humans, of course. Is that killer algae, the veined rapa whelk, 
the crown of thorns starfish, or the Indian lionfish? Let's see. Thank you. Oh, invasive species. <laughs> Being all invasive. And living. And living, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yes. It's like, what are you doing there? You're not in the right spot. All right, which, uh, which in, in space is, yeah, yeah. D, B, and A. All different answers, but y'all avoided the right one. It is C, the crown of thorns starfish. Hey, you know, I like that. When, when I get something wrong, it, it makes, me better, makes me feel better when everyone else got them wrong. Too. <laughs> yeah. So no one's catching up. <laughs> um, let's go reading 20s for 80. The reading 20s for 80. Now, as we have just finished out the year of 2020, what was Barnes & Noble's book of the year last year? Because that is still the 20s, just a different one. Was it World of Wonders and Praise Of, Panic, Too Much and Never Enough, or Rodham? Barnes & Noble's book of the year, which one was it? You're not going to get the answer from my eyes, Kevin. <laughs> I thought if I stare at you long enough, it would just come. <laughs> Ready, watch. I'll communicate with you, like, yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Telepathically. All right, let's see if it worked. There's a lot of tension okay. going on here. <laughs> All right, which, uh, which was Barnes & Noble's pick? A, D, and B. All different answers. I guess my, um, my message went to somebody else because it was A. Sorry, Kevin. World of Wonders and Praise Of. I stole Wait. your telepathic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can you send it You cheated me, right? <laughs> I guess so. So now they'll just is, go down the line. Okay. This yeah. is what, this what oh, 80s sure. I'm, do. I'm oh. losing now. This is what 80s do. It did out 520 for Shay, 340 for Hope, and 490 for Kevin. 80s a lot of points. We can we can flip the game at a moment's notice. All right, Kevin, what are we gonna do? Gee, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just gonna click it, but I'll, I'll say it. Hockey history for 80. Hockey history for 80. I think you've pissed, picked all of the hockey history ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And the Super Bowl ones, oh, too. Yeah. An, an NHL player is covered in heavy gear, which ultimately produces a lot of sweat during the game. How many pounds, on average, does an NHL player lose in water weight per game? Is it 1 to 2 pounds, 3 to 5 pounds, 5 to 8 pounds, or 13 to 17 pounds of water weight? So, 0.7 times... <laughs> Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Wait, you move the, draw the line, carry the one. What are you? Wait, what are you times in point seven? Yeah. Point seven. Nine? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm gonna. Uh, you know, he's like going like this, but he's he has like a whiteboard. He's not actually doing the math on the little whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's drawing with his finger. <laughs> All right. All right. How many? Y'all are about to see how the math just comes to me. All right. How many pounds in water weight is it? C, B, and C. Yeah, C. <laughs> Excuse me, Shay? <laughs> I mean, hey, I guess something works up there. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. Okay, double motivation now. <laughs> yeah, now you got double motivation. <laughs> okay, so Hope's the last double one that hasn't on triple jeopardy, come right? for me yet. <laughs> you know, nice. last I knew we were friends, but that could change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's now 600 to 340 to 570. So Shay is in the lead by 30. Um, hope do not give up, seriously. Hope, 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 hope. You're in, yeah. All right, Shay, what you want? Uh, I'm gonna do former empires for 80. Former empires for 80, three 80s. This empire that was once the second largest in terms of controlled land used horses as a quintessential part of their conquest. To them, horses had the highest prestige of the five varieties of herd animals. Were those the Aztecs, the Mongols, the Inca, or the Dutch? What is the, what is the empire that, that the question is referring to? B, C, and A. I like when everybody has different answers. It, just, it stirs it up a little bit. It is B, the Mongols. And that is 80 points for Shay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Great Barrier Reef for 80. Great Barrier Reef for 80. This massive reef is known to be able to be seen from space because of its sheer size and length. Which of these road trips would be most similar in terms of length that is the Great Barrier Reef? Boston, Massachusetts to Miami, Florida? Mm. Seattle, Washington to Los Angeles? Houston, Texas to Phoenix, Arizona? Or Chicago to Buffalo? <laughs> 
Which road trip would be most similar in length to the length of the Great Barrier Reef? Wait, this is a dumb question, but I don't know if you can answer it. But where is the Great Barrier Reef? <laughs> <laughs> I, we'll just leave it at that. Don't go, don't go any further. It's in an ocean. Isn't it like Thanks, somewhere around Buffalo? <laughs> <Buffalo's out. laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, Once I get this right, you'll see what's up. It's not that one. All right, what's the road trip that's most similar? A, A, and B. So the road trip that is most similar in length to the Great Barrier Reef is A. Yes. What? God, Boston to Miami, 1,500 miles. Okay, well, where's this reef? I. We don't know. Well, D just said I, Australia, but we'll I leave it at it that. We'll wait till the category is over. Okay. To, oh, to we still got one. Yes. Okay. Former empires for 20. Former empires for 20. At its height, this empire once controlled roughly 26% of the Earth's land area. They coined the phrase, the sun never sets on the blank empire, meaning that around the globe, it would always be daytime on some part of this territory that they claimed. Was it the Greek, Turkish, Russian, or British empire? Which you guys got? A, B, and D. The sun never sets on the British Empire, D. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you are indeed right, yes. That is 20 points for Kevin. That's right. Yeah. And then Shay, you finish this off today with uh, the last pick. So either Reading 20s or Great Barrier Reef. What one, what one would you like to pick? Let's do the Reading 20s. All right. Reading 20s for 20. The literature of the 1920s isn't all about flappers and jazz. Many beloved children's stories found their start in this era as well. Which children's series began in the 20s? Was that Peter Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, Little House on the, Pla Blah. Little House on the Prairie, or Frog and Toad? B, B, and C. Someone didn't get it, I guess. It was B. Winnie the Pooh. Is that old? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christopher Rabbit. Mm. Christopher Rabbit. All right, so that's 24. Uh, Shay and Hope. And then finally, we'll finish off this round with the Great Barrier Reef for 20. One of the seven natural wonders of the world, off which coast is this particular wonder located? Tasmania, Queensland, New South Wales, or New Zealand? Yeah. Could it be happening again? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. If it's, I, I'm gonna go with it either way. <laughs> oh, no. Off the coast, off which coast? I don't even know what the, I know Niagara Falls is a wonder. The Grand Canyon's one. Great and Barrier then, Reef. It, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. This is wrong. It's fine. 20 points. All right, which coast is it off of? B, D, and D. Shane knew it, it was B. Queen Wait, what? <laughs> it's supposed to be New Zealand, because Australia. New Zealand is its own country, though. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Australia is its own country and continent. Oh! And Queen Queensland is a territory in Australia. Mm -hmm. Darn. So that is 24. Right, you know we'll just leave I, it on the screen. I'd rather be behind a little bit. You know? All right. We the pressure's ended, not on we me. We're in round three with Shay. <laughs> yeah. At 800 <laughs> points in the lead. Hope at 440, but of course, do not worry. And then Kevin White's in the middle at 590 points. But. <laughs> No one knows what's gonna happen yet because they're all gonna have to bet whatever they want when they learn the final category, which is the human tongue. The human tongue? The human tongue. Wait, so like we, we can... Yay, okay. I can go up to 590, right? You can go all the way up to 590, yes. Guys, if you're about to turn 18, you've got to register with Selective Service. It's simple. Just go down to the post office, fill out a card, and turn it in.
That's all there is to it. There's no draft now. You're just adding your name to Selective Services list in case there's a national emergency. So if you're 18 now, Selective Services, you gotta get down. Register with Selective Service. It's quick, it's easy, and it's the law. Takes no time, just sign on the line at the post office for Selective Service. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. If it's time for a drink this many times a day, you're not a social drinker, you're a problem drinker. And you could be well on your way to really messing up your life. Think about it. Talk to somebody about it. Do something about it before it's too late. A message in the interest of your better health from the American Medical Association. This is not a commercial. If you think measles, mumps, whooping cough, or polio are nothing to worry about, you'd better think again. Because they could make your child go blind or deaf. They can cripple or kill. To protect children, you have to get them immunized. Get them their shots. It costs nothing or very little, so get it done now by your doctor or local health center. Your child's future is in your hands. Don't let her down. A message in the interest of better health from the American Medical Association. I sent, I sent, I emailed him the, uh, he the episode. He comments on Facebook. He's like, I've heard the professor. The professor. Um, the professor. Yeah, when he was taking, when he was like, um, when we were picking our uh, presentation topics or whatever, he was like, he's like, Ryan Blotto, finally. Um, I heard your ratings went up when I was on the game show. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to the most intense part of the game show. And that is indeed the final round where we never know who's going to win. Anything can happen, and whoever ends up winning this round will join Emily Sheridan on the leaderboard. Whatever points she's at, I think it's pretty low. Um, <laughs> sorry, I think it's not very good. Uh, but she's on there because she was the first contestant of the season, and like I said, whoever wins now will join them. I like the spot I'm in right now, because if I was in first, I'd be feeling pressure. Right now, there's no pressure, right? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shock the world with this comeback. All right. Well, whoever whoever um, gets this, like I said, it's Buddy Brewster's $25 gift certificate. The tongue can sense five basic tastes. Salty, sweet, umami, bitter, and what fifth taste? You guys have one minute. Oh my God. Starting now. You can do the pan if you want. What's umami? Uh, savory. Savory. Okay. Salty, sweet, umami, bitter, and blank. <laughs> Thirty I'm not seconds. With that. This helped me think. No guesses. Wait, how many? How, what's the time at here? Twenty seconds. Oh sh! Oh wait. All right, I'll let you finish writing. And oh well, go. For, yeah. Wait, speech. Did you writing. put like two answers? Like no, a just slash? one. Just one. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is time. I don't know if I use the right word, but maybe I'll get partial credit. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll deliberate. <laughs> it was pretty straightforward what the answer is. Uh, don't show it yet, obviously, though. Um, Shay, what did you have to say? Can I say it? You may I, flip I it and say your time. answer, yes. Okay. Uh, spicy. You said spicy. That is wrong. Mm. But you bet zero points. Shay, you finished today at 800 points. Okay. Hope, what did you have to say? Okay, I only said this because I just saw an infographic video and okay. it said that. I think it might have been wrong though. But what is it? it said that it was fat. 
but I think it's wrong. Fat. <laughs> yeah, like fatty. That like, is indeed wrong. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and hope you Fake bet minutes. 436 <laughs> points. You finished yeah. today with four points. <laughs> Wait, how many? Four. Four. I, how much did you pay? So if I get this right, I win. Lucky number. Kevin, well, what, what'd you get? What'd you guess? <laughs> I don't know. If, okay. What'd you guess? Crunchy. <laughs> 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 That's a, Did I win? No! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did he? No. <laughs> Dang it! Was it sour? It's sour, yeah. What? Oh! That's the one thing I didn't think I of. Oh. Kevin, so you bet uh, 285, so you finished with 285. Shay, you're today's winner at 800 points. I was so Congratulations. <laughs> you may come up here, you can put on your mask, and receive your. Uh, Receive your gift certificate. Great job. Okay. Good job. <laughs> I was, I was I'll remember this. Sour, <laughs> It'll fuel me for Look next time. Garrett, here is Buddy Brewster's $25 gift certificate. There you go. Oh, thank you. No problem. What are you gonna get? Um, honestly the last time I went there they had these like buffalo style like poutine things. Look at that. They were pretty damn good, so I might get that again. Awesome. Well, you deserved it. Thank you, Ryan. Awesome. So that is another episode of the game show. How do you guys what do you guys have final words? You can go back, you can go back to them, yeah. Final I'm, words, yeah. I'm feeling sour. You're feeling sour, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Kevin, I'm crunchy happy. man. <laughs> That's not even your tongue. You know. <laughs> Well, we, I had, I had I, faith in your answer because, like, look at you were thinking hard about it. What was your other answer? You said you had like two, like something along the same lines, like crunchy <laughs> slash like, like a rough texture. I was also gonna say bland, like you can't taste anything. TV show thing. I thought it was Mora Oral. Which one? Oh. The one that said, said like the Lord, and then it was Lord like. Lord. like, 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 like <laughs> and I was like, is this one? <laughs> I thought I was like, no, it sounds familiar. But this There's no uh, words in the Mora Oral intro. No. It's cute though. Yeah. It's cute, no. But yes. when it said Lord and the blues or something, and I was like, it turned dark. I was I like, it's Mora Oral. <laughs>